Terminator was first conceived by James Cameron when he had a fever dream of a metal skeleton rising out of a fire. Over time, Cameron took this nightmare and turned it into a well-crafted movie franchise. Inspired by Mad Max, among other things, Cameron envisioned a future war between humans and machines. The future war is mostly set in black and blue nights with wrecked buildings, broken cars, and skeletons littering the environment. Among the devastating landscape marched shiny chrome machines of all shapes and sizes. The human-shaped endoskeleton terminators, the HK tanks, the HK aerials, and even mini hunters just to name a few. Each machine was armed with phase plasma weapons that shot purplish pink lasers across the black and blue landscape. This vision was something so unique that audiences couldn't get enough of it. They got to see snippets of it in Terminator 1 and even one brief kick-ass shot of the opening in Terminator 2. For years, people have demanded an entire movie within this future war that James Cameron envisioned. While the vision would remain the same between movies and even the T2 3D Battle Across Time attraction, there would be some changes and additions in each installment. You can even tell there are slight changes between 1 and 2 because the HK tanks in T2 have two plasma barrels, whereas the ones in T1 only had a single barrel. Also, Kyle Reese stated in T1, when time traveling, you go naked because something about the energy field is generated by living organisms. Therefore, nothing dead or inanimate can go through. Yet, in Terminator 2 3D Battle Across Time, the T2 T-800 comes through the time portal that not only remains open to allow a return trip, but also it allows the T-800 to come through on a motorcycle with guns. This hints to the possibility that with each trip made to the past to change things, Skynet learned from the mistakes because changes made to the past show up on historical records that initially were lost during the war, and thus Skynet improved with each timeline. With these changes, the future war would change as well by Terminator 3, Salvation, Genesis, and Dark Fate. Sadly, the changes are not in keeping with Cameron's vision. The HK aerials and HK tanks in Terminator 1 and 2 are very different in terms of design in Terminator 3 onward. Also, Terminator 3's plasma weapons lack the distinct purplish-pink lasers, as the plasma weapons fired generic bright blue lasers, as well as the sound effect that Cameron used in Terminator 2 that was inserted into the DVD re-release of Terminator 1. In Salvation, everything was bright and tan as opposed to black and dark blue, and the shiny chrome hyper alloy machines are dirty steel gray. Also, there are no phase plasma weapons. Everyone's using bullets, even the Terminators. They even changed the Skynet from this to this. This core to that core. In Genesis, we see some of the familiarity of the future war return, but sadly the style and design is altered away from Cameron's vision. Looking at the Terminator endoskeleton in Terminator 1 and 2 and comparing it to the design in Genesis, you can tell they altered it from the distinct original look. Also, when I think of Terminator's future war weapons, I'm thinking of this, not this, this, not this, winner! Loser. Now, while Genesis did take one of Cameron's machine ideas from Terminator 1 and 2, the HK Centurion, and put it in the movie, it was all CGI and didn't have any of the shiny chrome look that Cameron's machines had. Dark Fate also seems to deviate away from Cameron's vision despite Cameron's involvement as it has daylight scenes and no shiny chrome machines like in the initial vision. One of the reasons Terminator 1 and 2 are so iconic and unique is because of Cameron's initial vision of the future war. Cameron's vision created a lore that many spent years trying to expand upon. Sadly, Hollywood chooses not to follow Cameron's initial vision and keep employing filmmakers that try to change the look of the future war with each new movie. When you change the look of it, it's not Cameron's vision anymore. 
Cameron's vision of the future war is what people associate with Terminator, and anything that doesn't resemble it is not Terminator, even if the name Terminator is on it. Cameron's vision of the future war is what I think of when I think of Terminator. The black sky with the dark blue horizon, the shiny chrome machines tearing through the dark wasteland, the distinctly designed phase plasma weapons that fire purplish pink lasers, hell, even the distinguished sound effects of the phase plasma rifles from T2 that got put into the DVD re-release of Terminator 1. If a Terminator movie doesn't have any of these, I'm not watching it because it doesn't respect Cameron's vision of the future war, and by extension, doesn't respect the lore. As fellow YouTuber overlord Dictor Van Doomcock would say, without respect, we reject. And you can bet on that.